All right, Terra Luna Classic community, we're going to shotgun this. We're going to try to do this as quickly as possible. The first thing that I need you to do is hit that like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified of future content, and let's kick this off because we got a lot to cover and uh, things are getting real interesting. All right, first of all, if you haven't already, please sign up to Weeks, W-E-E-X dot com. Go there. It's a non-KYC a uh, place that you can go and trade Luna Classic. If you do that, then 15% of all fees that are earned from weeks are used monthly to burn Luna Classic. You want to be part of the burn process? This is how you become part of the burn process. Also, Terra C. Vita just made this post over here. Uh, we've negotiated with Believes Crypto to interview builders on Terra Classic and give them an opportunity to showcase their projects. Um, Terra Classic is alive and kicking for after many months of negotiating with influence in the community to support and publicize buildings. We finally found someone willing and keen to help spread the word in the world. And it's very important. I want you guys to know what's being built. I mean, we know about Lenny Lunk. We know about some of these smaller projects. But let's go find out Lunk Zombies. Uh, let's go find out projects <laughs> that are out here literally building on this chain every day that we're not interacting because we don't have a real hub to do this. So I'm going to put that out there and we're going to see uh, what it is that we can do in the Luna Classic blockchain and we're going to grow this thing. Let's move on. All right, guys. Montenegro has denied the extradition dispute and they've rejected the appeal from Duquan. So he is headed back to South Korea is what it looks like right now. More information on that as it happens. Also, uh, Terra Luna Classic has now hit a milestone, 5.5 million holders and rising interest. Those are important things. Very cool that we're starting to see this many new holders come into the space. Uh, we're still working on this Oracle replenish. Uh, it does this come up for governance vote yet? Not yet. So we're waiting to see how this kind of lays itself out. Now let's go look at the price action and let's see what that looks like. All right, guys, nothing has fundamentally changed over here. It's actually playing out exactly as I told you it probably was going to. Uh, we're starting to get this pump. We've got this reversal. We do have this long-term sort of trend line here. You can see that we've kind of touched it and wicked down onto it several times over and over. Uh, it seems to be that we're minting new highs. We're adding new holders. Uh, that would mean that most probably what we're looking at is this move towards this upside right now. Uh, with this green line coming down, representing where the tops are. Now, is that perfect? It's not perfect, but just to give you an indication, I expect that we're probably going into this uh, 24, 25 range again pretty soon. Seems like we're we're getting a little enthusiasm back, trading at 14.2 right now. Uh, it was 14 a little bit earlier this morning, starting to get a little bit, you know, or 1% basically from uh, the low for the last 24 hours. But the important part is uh, we're starting to mint a few green days. We've we've bought back some of the stuff that we've really dipped down from this market, sort of market-wide correction, uh, which, I, you know, the U.S. market is about to open up at the time of this, and we'll see what happens. But I expect a rejection, by the way, off of that 24 and then back down here into a test range, with that test range being somewhere in that 17 to 18 range. We seem to like that for a period of time before kind of falling one way or another. So I, I would expect a test coming back into that range before a breakout. So uh, remember, by the time we get up in this big sort of move right here, it should be close to the halving. And then there's going to be a dip back down uh, and then a breakout about 30 to 60 days after the halving. That would be the, the, the most likely sort of scenario for that breakout. That's what we're looking for. And uh, I think that's what we're going to see uh, volume wise. You can see right here, we're up a little bit on volume, but we were down significantly. We're up 9% in market cap over the last, uh, you can see right here, 1447. So the market is starting to move. It hasn't caught up to, uh, in, in this instance over here, I'm on, uh, I think it's MEXC. Yeah, on MEXC, it hasn't caught up with the broader market yet, but it will start to continue pumping. Uh, and we'll see that catch up with the normal market. Uh, also over here on USTC, again, I'm not as bullish on this, but uh, you know, volume up a little bit on the day. And there was a, a significant little move over the last little while uh, as we, you know, started to pick up a little bit of steam. But again, I, I you know, uh, I want to see something bigger happening over here on Terra Cloud. Like, see, it get it back to three and a half cents, four cents, something like that. Feel more comfortable with that spot. Cryptonomy.finance just launched a research section, so make sure that you go check that out today. Learn a little bit more about crypto that you may not have known before. If you are a corporate client, you can have a relationship manager uh, and a lot of customer support, superior OTC services, and institutional tools that will help you in your venture. Also, 
if you sign up for the VIP course, you can get in touch with high touch wealth management personnel and a lot of different people and personalized information as you need in order to successfully navigate this crypto. Also, if you look at my moves right now, you can see that I'm earning over 106 Solana on my last staking. My Tether, I'm going to earn 1670 on my staking so far. Uh, you can see there's some of these have, I've earned $784. I can't cash out for a while, but uh, I've earned 784 so far. And then in the launch pool, guys, if you haven't checked the launch pool out, you've got to check the launch pool. Look at these ROIs that I'm getting right now. It's fantastic. Uh, 20 X on K9 Finance, 7X on Weave, on Block Jerk. Uh, if you get, if you put a stake into this system right here, it gives you a fantastic amount of rewards. Go check this out today. And that's it, guys. That's your update for the day. Um, make sure you, you sign up for weeks. Uh, make sure you start paying attention. Hit your butt, hit your bell to, so that you'll be notified of new content. You want to know about stuff in this community? You're going to know about stuff in this community. I'm going to start bringing it out to you uh, as I can. Uh, again, we're going to be looking at like lunk zombies over the next couple of days. It's a uh, uh, it, it's a it's a game that's built on this blockchain. Uh, actually, pretty fun. I, I had a, I had a pretty fun time testing it out. I'm going to get into the particulars of it, uh, and then we're going to. I kind of wrap it up for you, give you the information that you need, and then we're going to move on to another project. We're going to kind of look through these things, figure out how we can build, and maybe you might want to build on the Luna Classic blockchain. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.